Hi, welcome to I've Had Worse, and today I'm trying another Polish beer. And I have to confess, I chose this one because the can looks pretty. So this is Zuba. It's a 6% beer, uh, and I know next to nothing about it. It's got so much Polish on the can because it's a Polish beer. Um, but I haven't been able to decipher, um, or my Polish um, isn't good enough to decipher, isn't good enough. My Polish is just, a, <laughs> I can ask for a beer and that's about it. But I couldn't tell you what style of beer it is. I'm guessing it's going to be a lager style beer. Um, let's go for it. Let's open it. It's, uh, you know, so they tend to be very malty, uh, which I love. Um, and we'll see. I was talking to the owner of the off license where I get these from uh, and they're having trouble getting hold of them um, already uh, because of the recent sort of Brexit deal that's gone through. Um, so it's just affecting things at the moment. So luckily I uh, sort of got a couple in um, a while ago. So hopefully it'll get all sorted out uh, and you know, my supply of really good beer if not, I'll just have to explore um, British breweries. So, what a shame having to, you know, test beer. Okay, so we've got a amber, sort of like a dark amber in appearance. Not much head. There's a little bit of lacing on the glass. Ooh. I was going to say the first words that came into my head were burnt chocolate. So it's so obviously a chocolatey malt on the nose with a little bit of a smoky mm. now there is so much there's one line of English here. Okay so water barley malt uh, water barley malt glucose syrup hops and hops extract so they've thrown the sort of kitchen sink of it um and as i said before um that i wondered if they added the i i don't know enough about brewing uh, shame on me um whether they add the glucose syrup during the fer fermentation process to bump up the alcohol or they add it afterwards um to sort of get that flavor signature um if you know Drop it in the comments below. Um, you know, uh, ignorance isn't a bad thing. It just means that you just don't know something. So I'll admit you, I don't know. Um, okay, so let's give this a go. So we go. So again, so it's quite a thin mouthfeel, quite watery. You would know this is a 6%. It's not overly malty, which for me is a little bit of a disappointment. I do like those malts. It's got a subtle carbonation. It's not overly carbonated, so it would go down really well. Flavour does not hang around. It's sort of there and sort of fades quite quickly. I'll be honest with you, it doesn't have a really Moorish quality. You're not thinking, oh, you know, I've really got to get this down. Um, I recently tried Robinson's Trooper, which just you wanted to go back for, you know, another mouthful, another mouthful, um, because the flavour was really good and, you know, there's something, you know, when you have something that's really good, you want to go back for it. I would describe this one, of all the Polish beers I've had, I would say this one is a typical lager. Um, it's like a typical lager you get in the UK, but towards the higher end. Um, so, uh, da, 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 um, Stella, uh, Estrella, that type of thing. It's not as sweet as Estrella. Um, Cobra, Kingfisher, that type of, you know, range of lager. I 
Okay, so because I like my malts and because I keep on banging on about malty Polish beers, I'm a little bit disappointed. But this is a good beer. Uh, if you try this one, you would not be disappointed. Um, I said 6%, so, you know, quite a heavy hitter. Um, and, you know, very quaffable. Would I recommend this one? Yeah, I think if you if you see it, and, you know, you're going to have to go at, um, to a delicatessen or a good off-license, if you see it, give it a go. Um, but, you know, you are not going to be um, patting me on the back for giving you the uh, best recommendation you've ever had, but it's not bad. So there you go. Just proof that, you know, a nice pretty picture on the tin isn't everything. Um, <laughs> which for me is just like, I have chosen beers before now because they're pretty pictures. In fact, this one. Cheers.